Hi everybody, this is Angelique Tsang from the Interactive Movie Analysis Club. I want to invite you for our next movie event happening coming Friday and we're going to watch the movie Shall We Dance with Richard Gere and Jennifer Lopez. This is absolutely one of my favorite movies and um, if you want to understand the, um, the dynamics that happen when people fall in love or when people develop infatuations with each other this is a movie that you would love to see so in this movie Richard Gere plays a man who falls in love with an image that he sees and he follows this image and he tracks it down and then things start to develop in, um, in his inner world and in his relationship with himself and I think if you want to understand the, um, the workings of what uh, Jungians call the anima in the life of a man, this is a movie that you definitely want to see. It is a movie that is, to me, so moving in terms of what it actually explains to us in, um, in such a funny way. But at the same time, it's so, so truthful. So um, what I want to do is I want to uh, read out to you a blog that I wrote after I saw this movie. So um, if you have time, uh, listen to me reading the blog and, uh, and of course um, you are invited to come and join us on Friday to actually learn more about anima in a man's life. Okay, so the blog is called the anima always dances inside. Shall we dance? In Shall We Dance, Richard Gere plays John Clark, a happily married man who has it all but nevertheless misses something. As life goes on and he feels that there must be something more. One evening, he is distracted by a woman, Paulina. He sees near a window who looks the way he was feeling inside. He can't help but be fascinated by her and one evening he goes into the dance school. He doesn't know why, but he enrolls in classes, and the doubt as to whether what he's doing is crazy or needs to be a secret is not even clear to himself. John Clark in this movie embodies the perfect example of a person who lives a life where he has been totally identified with his job, his role towards his wife and kids, and the normal day-to-day -day obligations. He has no idea that he has an inner life that is full of passion and a spirit that wants to dance and that is ready to break into his consciousness. That is why a perfect stranger can provide a hook for him to project his until yet unknown passion and irrational feeling side onto. Scroll down. The attraction to Paulina is a vehicle for him to discover what is inside him to be known but he mistakes it for an attraction towards her as a person. He has no idea that she carries his anima for him, his inner guide that can seduce him into an inner world where he will touch parts of his psyche that he never knew existed. As the attraction that is carried by one's anima is like a calling that no ma man will be able to withstand, he even risks his marriage and his family to get close to her. In one scene, Paula refu Paulina refuses to have dinner with John and she tells him that he should not go dancing for her because she will not be able to give him what she thinks he wants. And this scene is a very profound scene for any man who mistakes his anima for a real life flesh and blood woman. The anima is the inner woman in the man who can guide him into deeper self-knowledge of what is within him and that can bring him more wholeness creativity, inspiration, feeling, and depth. She exists, but only in his inner world. And as, a, and as long as a man is not aware that the anima is him, he will project it onto women who provide hooks for such a projection. It is thus, it is thus fortunate for the individuation of John Clark that Paulina refuses to be related to as an object from which he tries to get something. Because the sad thing in life is that when one doesn't understand that the anima is inside oneself, one will relate to the other person 
as if she were his anima, who can give him whatever he unknowingly and mysteriously is attracted to, but what in the end only turns out to be parts of himself that are waiting to be discovered and claimed as unmanifest or unrealized potential within himself. Despite the warning of Paulina not to dance if, if, if it's her he's after, John discovers he really likes the dancing itself. Nevertheless, he keeps the dancing a secret. Is he really ashamed of this side of him? Is his ideal self-image or persona just not a person that would go ballroom dancing? John discovers that he has a colleague called Link, who is also a student at the same school, but who apparently has a double life, one in the office as a sports fanatic, and in his secret life, a dancer who wears a wig. These two men are both in the grip of the persona, their mask of who they think they should be, in order to be accepted by society. Whereas for John, the discovery of the passion for dancing and rhythm is a total new side to him that he only now discovers. For Link, the dancing had always been a carefully kept secret in order to maintain a certain persona at his working place. Both men feel uneasy about coming out about this unmacho hobby. They both, however, discover that it's more important to be true to yourself even if that will turn some heads or make you the laughing stock. When this inner shift happens, they shed their preconceptions about who they are, who they should be, and step into the dark of who they are becoming, but by doing so are finally free to become alive. Finally. And when they do this, they are both finally connected and in a conscious relationship with their anima an inner guide that brings them renewed passion for their life, their loved ones, and a new perception of who they are becoming once they let go of rigid self-images. So, I hope that this blog gives you a bit of a, uh, an idea about, um, yeah, the, the absolute amazing um, revelations that can come when you understand how the anima works in the psyche of a man. So, um, and of course, if you understand how the anima works in the psyche of a man, you'll also understand how the animus, the inner man, works in the psyche of a woman and how we try to um, look for it in a relationship with a real man. So I would invite you <coughs> to join us on Friday and, uh, and see what we can learn from each other. I hope to see you there. Thank you. Bye-bye.